Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google released the Android and developer preview for various Nexus devices. Now, I do have a full review. I will link to that in the description if you want to know all the changes. But in this video, we are just going to be talking about split screen mode. So I'm going to show it off on my Nexus 5X and my Nexus 9. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to activate split screen, also a couple different ways that you can view split screen. Now, let's say I go into a specific app, such as the YouTube app. Now, if I press the recent apps button, one way I can do it is by pressing and holding on a specific app, and you'll see a couple highlighted windows pop up. Um, also, if your device is vertical instead of horizontal, and you press and hold, it will show up on the top or bottom instead. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's not left or right all the time. It's top or bottom, depending on the orientation of your device. Now let's go ahead and click, I mean, press and hold and drag over to the left, and you'll see it's going to open up that specific app. It says app may not work in split screen mode, Obviously, it's going to be buggy at the moment. It's just a developer preview, but on the right side, it's going to load up and hold your recent apps button. Now, let's say I tap one of these apps. It's going to load it up on the right side. Now, I can expand specific apps on the right, or I can move it over on the left. Looks like it's getting stuck a little bit. There it goes. Um, so you'll see it automatically adjusts the size of that specific app depending on how far over. Now, to exit out of it, I can press and hold this button, and it's going to load up that specific app in full now I can press and hold this button again to activate reactivate it with your recent apps being on the right side so there's another way you can reactivate split screens by pressing and holding on this button another interesting thing is when I press the home button you'll see that window pops over to the side but you can still kind of see it right there you can still act upon the OS but you'll see this window over here and also your recent apps button did not change so if you press it again it will reactivate that open split screen that you have so let's say for example i have twitter open on the right side i'm pretty surprised twitter works fairly well actually in this split screen mode as you can see but if i press home it'll bring it over but if i press it again it'll open your recent apps on the right and that open app on the left where you can go ahead and start your split screen right back up now something i want to show off on my nexus 5x just because i have it activated is a specific setting that you can change in the system ui tuner in my Android N review, I show off how to activate System UI Tuner, but go to Other, Enable Split Screen Swipe Up Gesture. So let's go ahead and try that. So you press on the Recent Apps button and swipe up, and check out that animation. It already activates that split screen mode, and then go ahead, goes ahead and enables your recent apps. So tapping on Messenger looks like, it's, like I said, it's a little bit buggy, but it looks like I can kind of act, <laughs> act upon the system. So let's try going into that messaging app. There it goes. And then if I hit search, it's going to load up. You'll see it popped up the keyboard, popped up the app. If I minimize it, it goes back. Obviously, you can kind of reorganize and resize the various apps. Pressing home again or tapping it will reactivate that uh, specific setting. And then exact same thing. If I press and hold, it's going to deactivate that split screen. But yeah, that would be it. That's the split screen mode. Obviously, more updates to come on that. If they refine it, they make it a little bit less buggy, maybe the app they'll add more apps or make it so you can have three or four apps open at once but uh give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to me as well more android and developer preview coverage coming very soon uh and as always guys thank you very much for watching